el largo de, de esos tres meses que, que dura ese trimestral, pues se ha formado un grupo realmente bonito, se, ha formado, se han formado amistades, la gente aprendía muchísimo y, y era una, una manera muy divertida y muy amena de pasar las tardes, pues eso, dos veces o tres veces a la semana. Entonces, os animo mucho a apuntaros a esos cursos intensivos o trimestrales que tenemos y si queréis, pues llamadnos para más información al 91 133 5833. Ay, sería genial tener un campamento para mis hijos totalmente en inglés y que encima fuesen campamentos temáticos para que se lo pasaran genial caballeros y princesas, Harry Potter máquinas del tiempo, talent show pues si encima no tuviesen que salir de Madrid ¡buah, eso sería fantástico y si además no tuvieran que dormir fuera de casa y pudieran volver el mismo día ¿tendrán algo así los de Baugan? Lo tenemos, se llama Urban Camps llámanos al 91-133-5832 y te lo contaremos todo 91-133-5832 este verano tus hijos van a vivir un montón de aventuras en inglés. Y sin salir de Madrid, en los Urban Camps tenemos un montón de aventuras y temáticas disponibles y todo sin que los peques tengan que dormir fuera de casa. Tu reserva ya en campamentosbaugan.com Urban Camps. Aventuras en inglés. No las dejes escapar. Disfruta de los Urban Camps en Las Rozas, Colegio Europeo de Madrid, en Aluche, Colegio Santa Gema Galgani, Las Tablas, Colegio Estudiantes, en Metropolitano, Ciudad Universitaria, CMU Isabel de España y en Arganda, Colegio Sai Virgen de la Soledad. Infórmate de los campamentos de Baugan en campamentosbaugan.com Aquí comienza Inglés Online TV. Everybody and welcome to the program. Yes, Inglés Online TV, Inglés Online TVE is the program today, and we are back, everybody. Today, class number 76. Yeah, 76, class number 76 today. And as always, we have lots to cover, lots to talk about on the show, and I welcome our spectators who are joining us on YouTube, right? You can connect live on YouTube and join us. The channel is Inglés Online TVE. Inglés Online TVE. You can join us there. So be sure to click like. Be sure to connect and click like on the, uh, or subscribe rather, on the YouTube channel and you can uh, follow the content. Okay. Let's see who's joining us today. It's Marcel Mann. Marcel Mann, ¿qué tal? Marcel Mann says, hello, good afternoon. Oscar is there as well, and he says, hello, hi, Kyle, Agustin, hi, guys, hello. Belen is there. Belen, hello, how are you? Dudonel is back. How are you, bud? Yes, he says, I can't stop watching you. Well, aquí estamos, aquí estoy. Yes, thank you for connecting, everybody. And... Uh, Did you have a good weekend? ¿Qué tal tu fin de semana? How was your weekend? I hope you uh, enjoyed it. I hope you had a good one. I just had a very, I had a very nice weekend, and I just had a fun uh, drive time show for everyone who was listening. We it just had a program with several uh, comedians, Spanish comedians from from uh, Comedy Central Spain 
And, uh, yeah, we enjoyed the show. If you want to hear that one, you can listen to it. That is the Drive Time Show, which is daily on Vaughn Radio from 6 to 7 p.m. here on Vaughn Radio. And you can find podcasts of that program at evox.com, I-V-O-O-X.com. Augustin says, yes, it was wonderful. Well, thank you. Uh, Chema says, Kyle, you haven't done the interrogative challenge. Please do it every day. It's the only program with the warm-up gym and the challenges we can take part with, or, or take we can take part in, I guess you could say. Uh, all right, Chema. I, yeah, well, maybe later on, maybe later on we can do a little bit of uh, interrogative in this show. Maybe, right? Quizás un poco más tarde. Maybe a little bit later. But, um... I do try to do that every day. You're right. And today, as I speak, is El Día del Libro. Is it is El Día del Libro? It's, it's book day. And you can get discounts on a lot of books. I have a book called The Verb Circus, Los Verbos Esenciales del Inglés. And this book is available with a discount today if through many, uh, many bookstores. You can find it in the uh, Baugan Tienda. Casa de Libro today has a 10% discount on all books. And uh, my first book is called The Verb Circus, Los Verbos Esenciales del Inglés. And this book has translation and it has interrogative. It's the only one that I know that has that interrogative exercise. And it comes with hours, I think about 12 hours of audio. It's very complete. I think it costs about nine euros. So it's a very cheap way to have a very focused... Um, grammar lesson and there's a lot of stories the stories are all factual little stories about trips that i did and little experiences of mine that i wrote into the book and so if you if you find that book uh, if if you're interested in working on your english from a focused perspective that's a good book to get the verb circus los verbos esenciales del inglés i called it the verb circus because it was my first radio show I did a show called uh, The Verb Circus, where it was a kind of a game show. We later adapted it to a TV show, to a book, and it's available in, uh, in the Vaughn Tienda, vaugantienda.com, and also in the uh, places like Casa del Libro, FNAC, and all these other places online. Anyway, let's get things started. A lot of people are writing in and uh, looking to participate today. And let's, uh, let's get things started with today's beginner content. Nivel básico. Nivel básico, yes. All right. And here we are with our beginner content today. My brother's girlfriend is around 40. That's true. That's more or less true. My brother's girlfriend, la novia de mi hermano. La novia de mi hermano. My brother's girlfriend. So you have to, you really have to have this um, Saxon genitive mastered, right? Hay que dominarlo. The Saxon, you have to master it. The Saxon genitive. So we have, um, yeah, my brother's girlfriend. It's true. My brother's girlfriend is Chinese. It's true. My brother's girlfriend is Chinese. My brother's girlfriend is around 40. Actually, she's a bit younger than that. My brother's girlfriend. La novia de mi hermano. My brother's girlfriend. And my brother's girlfriend, the sentence today, my brother's girlfriend is around 40. Now, the problem here that a lot of people in Spain have is they say, she's 40 more or less. How old is, how old is Mick Jagger? I said this four times in the last two weeks. How old is Mick Jagger? Oh, he's, he's around 70. He's about 70. He's around 70. So instead of saying he's 70 more or less, let's say he's around 70. He's about 70. Right? How old is um, Sylvester Stallone? 
How old is Sylvester Stallone? He's about 60. He's around 60, I think. Sylvester Stallone. How old is Tom Cruise? He's around 55. He's about, ah, I don't know, he's about 50. I'll say Tom Cruise is about 50. He's around 50. He's about 50. But I'm not going to say, uh, I'm not going to say he's more or less 50. Webster writes in, hey, it's our friend Webster. It's our old pal Webster from the Dominican Republic. He says, do you mean the infinitivo sajon? Bueno, genitivo sajon. Yeah, not infinitivo, not the Saxon in- infinitive. It's a Saxon genitive. Basically, it's the apostrophe S. Saxon genitive. It sounds like a Star Trek movie, doesn't it? Or a, or a heavy metal band from the 1980s. Metallica con, with the Saxon genitive. But no, it's not, it's not the, uh, it's not a, it's not a heavy metal band, right? It's a grammar structure. The Saxon genitive. That's right. So, the, the, there are a few mistakes that I see a lot here. My brother's girlfriend is around 40. My brother's girlfriend. And we don't say the my brother's. We can't say the Kyle's book. Oh, this is the Kyle's phone. No, this is Kyle's phone. This is Kyle's pen. This is Alberto's notebook. So we don't use the article before the Saxon genitive, right? We don't use the article before the... uh, When I say the Saxon genitive, I mean the possessive structure with the apostrophe S, right? Belen says, are you around 40? Are you younger than your brother? Uh, What do you think? ¿Qué te parece? I don't know. Well, actually, I do know. What do you think? Do you think I'm do you think I'm around 40, más o menos? Do you think I'm around 40? She says, "Are you younger than your brother?" Ah, I am younger than my brother, but I didn't say my brother was 40. Well, I said my brother's girlfriend is around 40. Mm. Valentino says, more or less, Spanish are actually abusing that form. Perhaps they're looking for a perfect equivalent for más o menos. I would say that's exactly what's happening, right? They're looking for, yeah, más o menos. Ah, more or less. How, how old is Michael, how old was Michael Jackson when he died? He was, ah, 50 more or less. No, he was, he was around 50. Actually, Michael Jackson was exactly 50 when he died. José Luis says, Sylvester... Está triste porque está alone. Ah, amigo, está... Sylvester está alone. I get it. I like that one. Dudenel says there's... Uh, there's no as... Be, uh, I don't understand what Dudenel says. There's no as best friend as a book. There's no best... No such thing as a best friend. I'm not sure what he means. No te entiendo, Dudenel. Sorry. Um... Let's see. Anyway, we're going to move on. We're going to push forward, everybody. So our sentence today, the beginner sentence, my brother's girlfriend is around 40. Más o menos. Tiene más o menos 40 años. She is. To be with a certain age, she is around 40. Yoli says, I think you're around 38 years old, Kyle. 30? 38, do you think? Yeah. Good guess. Good guess, Yoli. All right. Let's push forward, everybody, and go ahead with our intermediate content. Nivel Intermedio. All right, everybody. Why don't you why don't you slow down? Hey, why don't you slow now slow down is ir más despacio. Slow down. Hey, slow down. Decrease your speed. Ir más despacio is to slow down. To slow down. The opposite is to speed up. Right? Why don't you slow down? You're going way too fast. 
way. Now, this is a great word, way too fast. You're going much too fast. Vas demasiado rápido. Vas demasiado rápido. You're going too fast, pero con diferencia. You're going way too fast. Much too fast. Way too fast. So way is a, is a word that is used here to amplify our adverb. You're going too fast. You're going way too fast. So I could say, I have a, I have a, I have a, a normal sized house. My brother's house is way bigger than mine. My brother's house is way nicer than mine. My father's car is way faster than mine. Richard's car is way faster than mine. Mm. My book is my book is way thicker than yours. It's like saying mucho más is much more of whatever, right? Mucho más, con diferencia. It's quite a lot more. It's much thicker. It's much bigger. English is way more important than Swahili. It's true. I mean, Swahili, depending on where you live, but in almost all places in the world, English is more important. And English is, internationally, English is way more important than Swahili. So it's like saying it's much more important. It's way more important than Swahili. So if I went to run a race against Usain Bolt, who is considered the fastest runner in the world, he would beat me, without a doubt, because he's way faster than I am. He's much faster, but this is, he's way faster with tremendous difference, right? So, I mean, I can, I know how to, there's a guitar over here. I could, I suppose I could play a few songs, but I don't play very well. Now, Dave Boys comes in and he plays the guitar. He plays it on the radio because he's way better than I am at playing the guitar. He's way better. He's much better than I am at playing the guitar. He's way better, right? So way, in this case, way is used to amplify. It's used to essentially say, it's like saying much, much better. All right. Now, Fran writes it and says, Sylvester Stallone is over 60. No doubt. He says, I'm turning 60 this year. And I used to watch his movies when I was young. He's older than me then. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Fran also says, yeah, I did have a great time on the weekend. Thanks. How about you? Yes, I had a nice weekend. I did. Now, um, people are writing in. Twitter is, sorry, the, uh, the uh, YouTube chat is, is exploding. Augustine says, way? Yes, way. Que pasa way? No, but way in the sense of way. <laughs> like uh, amplifying, right? Much more. Way is almost like saying much when, you're, when we're used to... Uh, to uh, modify an adverb. Okay. Valentino says, 35 years old, I would say, since in 1999, he was in his early 20s. So people are trying to guess my age. Hmm. I could give the answer. But it's maybe it's more fun if I don't give the answer. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Belen says, what's the speed limit on the motorway in Canada? Well, first of all, in Canada, we'd say the highway. In Britain, they say the motorway. In in North America, we say the highway. Uh, do you like Do you like to drive over the speed limit when you're in Canada? Have you ever got a fine for driving over the speed limit? A few different questions. I like to drive safely. I'll put it that way. I'm not going to say. Uh, yeah, I I drive. I like to drive a little bit fast, but I don't I don't lose control. I like being sure that I'm in control. And I drive a lot when I'm in Canada. I never drive in Spain. I don't feel I need to drive in Spain because I live in Madrid and I can move with public transportation much more easily. It's actually easier and cheaper for me to draw, for me to take the subway and to take taxis if I have to than to, um, than to own a car and have to park it. But in Canada... 
in, especially in rural Canada, in rural, rural areas where there's no significant public transportation, then you need a car. In Canada, I needed a car. And when I go back, I need a car to move around. So I borrow my parents' car and I drive around. But I don't, I don't break, uh, not, not very often. I don't break the speed limit very often. What is the speed limit? Uh, typically 100 kilometers per hour or 110, depending on the area you're in. So it's, it's actually a little bit slower than maybe in Europe. Marcel Man says, that's the first time I heard that use of the word way. Well, good. That's what we're here for. Hopefully you're learning something new every day. That's good. Augustine says, me too. My car is way better than yours. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. My car, yeah, you could say, so we could say, um, Javi has a new BMW. And I've got a 20-year-old Ford. His car is way better than mine because mine is old. Hey, not that there's anything wrong with old cars, right? Not that it could be a Ford Mustang. It could be a great car, but his car is way better than mine. It's like con diferencia. Jose Luis says, yes, please play the guitar. Play the guitar, please. I can't today. Maybe another day. Webster says his classic car is way older than my new car. Mm. Valentino says, Guy Williams is in the studio. He was. A lot of people are in the studio today. Today is, it's La, uh, La Semana del Inglés, everybody. La Semana del Inglés. And we have some incredible discounts on Vaughn products today and all week long. Yeah, you can, uh, you can call in to Vaughn at 91133-5831. Or sorry, 5833. 91133-5833. And you can get discounts on all Vaughn products. Oh, my gosh. Uh, kids camps. Urban camps for kids. Intensivos de verano. My gosh, we've got uh, books, immersion, daytown, trimestrales, all kinds of courses with uh, some great discounts. Uh, Dude Donnell says, Kyle, how many books do you read per year? That's a good question. I read a few. Not a huge number, but I do read a few books, a few uh, books per year. I should read more though. Mm. And uh, using public transportation has been Richard Vaughn's new resolution for years. How has that resolution been reached? I don't know. I haven't talked to him about that specifically for a while, but I know he still drives. But I think he drives a bit less than before. But you'd have to ask him. You'd have to ask him next time he's doing a. A program, a live stream, you can ask him. Anyway, the intermediate sentence, why don't you slow down? You're going way too fast. So you're in the car. You're going way too fast. Okay, let's push forward, everybody, to today's advanced content. Nivel avanzado. Ah, yes, nivel avanzado. She must have got sick of working there. She handed in her notice yesterday. She, so to get sick of, to get harto de, in this sense, harto de, de hacer algo, estoy harto de eso. I'm, I'm sick of that. I'm sick and tired of it. So not sick in the sense of enfermo o enferma, but rather harto de algo. Right, harta. So she must have got sick of working there. De trabajar ahí. She must have got sick of working there. She handed in her notice yesterday. Entrega, entregar, to hand in, to turn in. She handed in her notice yesterday. So to hand in your notice is to give in the documentation to say that you're leaving. I'm quitting the company, and you give your letter of resignation. You hand in your notice, but it is a notice of your resignation, that you're resigning, which means you are leaving, you are quitting the company, and it's your decision. The verb to resign, resignation. Okay. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of questions that should probably 
at least get a short answer. Jaime says, hi, Kyle. I have to travel. I must travel. I would say I have to. I have to travel to Glasgow next week for work. He said for working, but for work. What can you tell me about the Scottish accent? Uh, good luck. That's what I can. <laughs> if you're going to Glasgow, good luck. Uh, it's not. It's a. It's a tricky accent. Look it up on YouTube. I, rather than do an impersonation, I, I will say it can be the Glasgow accent can be tough. Okay? But uh, you'll you'll do fine. You'll be all right. You'll be all right, Jaime. If you're a regular Vaughn Radio listener, you probably have a, a broad, a broadly developed ear, and I think you'll be fine. Just go in there and be confident in yourself, right? Trust yourself. You'll do all right. Uh, do don, uh, Marcel, can you recommend us a book in English? Now, do you mean an English book, like a grammar book, or a novel? So a book for learning English, well, I have a book called The Verb Circus, Los Verbos Esenciales del Inglés, and it's a very good workbook with lots of stories that are factual and interesting and lots of audio and exercises to help you gain fluency with the English language. But I think what you mean is a novel. Um, a novel that I enjoyed, maybe there's, there's one that I like called The Curious Incident of the Dog. That was a good read. I, I read a lot of books about uh, business or different things like that, but that doesn't really appeal to a lot of people. So, But this is one you might like, The Curious Incident of the Dog. It's a fun read, and I'd recommend that one for you, Marcel. Uh, Belen says, tell us the truth. Are you sick and tired of teaching? No, I'm here because I love it. If I didn't enjoy what I do, I would do something else. That's my philosophy. If I, if I didn't like teaching, I wouldn't teach. Why would I do that? Why would I teach if I didn't enjoy it? Uh, Durano says, I don't think so, Belen. Yeah, I'm not fed. Fed up is to be harto, right? Or oh, oh, harta, to be tired of it. No, I, I'm, I'm here because I like it. I like coming here. That's why I do it. Absolutely. Durano says, 1984 by George Orwell. Another great, great, uh, great pick. Chema says, to kill, now, killing a mockingbird, but usually to kill a mockingbird is an essential book in the U.S., but not easy to read. Maybe so, but it is a good book. Oh my gosh, we're out of time. Just like that, everybody, we're out of time. Thanks for listening. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow with Class 77, just like that, flying through the content. Thank you so much for listening. Stay tuned for Dave Boys in the Salad if you're watching here, listening here on Vaughn Radio. And thanks for uh, joining us on the video stream today on YouTube. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye. ¿Se te hace cuesta arriba el inglés? Clases 100% Método Baugan para todos los niveles que te darán el empujón que necesitas para vencer todas tus dificultades con el idioma. Infórmate en Barcelona en el 933398687, en Madrid 91-133-5833. ¿Sabes? Me da la sensación que estás pensando, bueno... Esto ya después de las vacaciones me pondré con ello. ¿En serio? ¿Das por perdido ya este curso? ¿Lo dejas para septiembre? ¿En serio? ¿Aún estás a tiempo? Llama e infórmate sobre los cursos intensivos en grupos reducidos. Sí, sí, porque puedes venir con un amigo, con un familiar. Cursos intensivos en grupos reducidos. Infórmate en el teléfono del inglés en Barcelona en el 933398687. En Madrid 91-133-5833. ¿Cogieron el contrato de la mesa? Sí, lo cogieron. Did they pick the contract up from the table? Yes, they did. ¿Recogió a su jefe de la estación de autobuses? Sí, lo recogió. Did he pick his boss up at the bus station? Yes, he did. ¿Cogimos las cajas? No, no las cogimos. Did we pick the boxes up? No, we didn't. ¿Recogiste a los empleados? No, no los recogí. Did you pick the employees up? No, I didn't. ¿Cogiste el uniforme de la silla? Sí, lo cogí. Did you pick the uniform up from the chair? Yes, I did. ¿La recogiste del aeropuerto? No, no la recogí. Did you pick her up from the airport? No, I didn't. ¿Le recogieron de la estación de autobús? 
No, no le recogieron. Did they pick him up from the bus station? No, they didn't. ¿Lo recogiste? Sí, lo recogí. Did you pick it up? Yes, I did. En Baugen Empresas tenemos un plan, un plan hecho a medida para su empresa. No nos interesa vender clases, nos interesa conseguir soluciones. Y para ello tenemos un apasionado equipo de profesores formados meticulosamente en...